Hello and welcome to another very exciting Face 3D video tutorial. In this video we'll show you how to use Face 3D and older versions of After Effects using Element 3D. Also we're going to talk about how to import and use a depth map file from your computer's local folder. So if you're ready, let's get started. So first of all, let's import our image. And I'm going to use this picture of a very beautiful elf girl. And then I'm going to open Map Browser and create a depth map. I'll click Compute Depth. And I'm going to download Map. And then I'm going to adjust the map very quickly and make 3D. I'm going to add some blur and increase depth map control. All right, that's taken care of. Now I'm going to select the layers. I'm going to type in the name and click Make 3D. So now you can see that the plugin shows us a warning that this version of After Effects doesn't support advanced 3D. And that's fine. Just click OK. And then immediately we see another window pop up offering us to open the model using Element 3D. That is, of course, if you have Element 3D installed. Otherwise, you won't see this window. But I'm assuming you have Element 3D installed, and I'll just click Yes. As you can see, the plugin created the same scene as it usually does. Only instead of an OBJ file, we now have a 3D element layer. So now I'm just going to go to the scene setup and click import and find the model that I've created just now. It's in the default folder right next to where it saves all of your models. If you haven't changed the path, it should be desktop unsafe project. So I'm going to open objects folder and find our model. Here it is. I'm going to click it and select elf.obj. At this point, we should change physical shader to standard. OK. All right, now we can exit the setup. Here's our model. Let's hover the camera to make sure. Now, if for some reason it looks flat, you can fix it by going to the scene setup. You can uncheck scale on all axes and scale along Z. There we go. Now what we have to do is animate our camera. So I'm going to add keys on the camera's position and point of interest. I'm also going to go to the third second and make it move there. Okay, great. Now let's just reduce comp duration and pre-render. Excellent. That's how easy it is. As you can see, it's a great solution for those who use older versions of After Effects. Now here's another very useful feature we've added. You can actually import a depth map from your local folder on your computer if you already have a depth map in some folder or if you created it using another software, say Photoshop, for example. Let me show you how it works really quickly. So double click here to import the image. In this case, it's a beautiful Mona Lisa picture. And let's go ahead and import it. If you already have depth map, open Map Manager, click here below on the Import Map button find the map, and just import it. And that's it. The scene is there. Here's depth map, and here's our image. Select them both, give them names, and make 3D. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and we'll be seeing you next time.